This video is brought to you by Rocky Money. More on them after the reaction, peeps. Citizens of the Reject Nation, it is time for a trailer I am very much excited for. Kung Fu Panda 4. If you guys didn't know, I covered the movies with Koi Jandro right here on this very channel. He was supposed to join me for this, but he decided to leave town. Jerk. Jerk enjoying his holiday season. Anywho, guys, what did you think about this trailer? I haven't seen it yet, but I'm excited to see what your take is on in the comments. Go ahead, type it down below. Be sure to leave a like. That would be very much appreciated. All right, I haven't slept, but my wife still told me about this trailer. She's awesome. I love her. Let's do this. It is time to take the next step on your journey. Oh, I'm excited. I'm not going to be the dragon warrior anymore. You will advance to spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace. Yes, I heard about this. like Oolong. Inner peace. Keep your surf off my firm. Cool. Dinner, <laughs> the Dinner with peas in a sesame. <laughs> <laughs> this is not working at all. <laughs> yes. I love I heard it is coming back. Big fan. <laughs> Once I possess the Kung Fu of every master villain, ah. no one will dare question my power. Not even the great Wait. dragon warrior. She said every master villain, so are- Powerful shape-shifting sorceress. Are they all coming back? How do I find this, the chameleon? I'm gonna chameleon. lead you right through her front door. They always make for great villains, chameleons. It was against an army. <laughs> Then we'll just have to get an army of our own. I think Aquafina fits perfectly into this world. Best crooks and criminals live here. You're a wanted criminal? You sound surprised. Is it surprising? <laughs> now you kids be careful with those fireworks. Yikes. <laughs> this is more Zootopia vibes time around. Being the dragon warrior, it's who I am. Skip me. What do I know about being a spiritual leader? What is it you're hoping? A cookie? You were chosen to become something more than you already are. The next evolution. Yep. This really feels like it's a How full circle movie. Quick and painless? Or slow and painful? That's Kihu Kwan. You finally met your match, Chameleon. We're not so Ooh. different, you and I. We're not so different, you and I. Stand back. I'm gonna Evil kick pole. my butt. Always gotta change it the logo a little bit. It's gonna be a cool fight. Yeah. Oh no! Ah, I'm excited for it, man. <laughs> Can't wait to watch it. I'm so excited for it. I really love this. Second one's my personal favorite one of the of the previous three, but I, I really enjoyed all three of them. All right, let's talk about it. Got some thoughts. Got some thoughts. Before that, a word from our sponsor. Hey, Reject Nation. You know, running real rejects is an incredible journey. It's something I am truly grateful for, but I got to be real with you for one second here. Managing the business side, especially taxes, to put it lightly, is incredibly overwhelming. It's like navigating a maze without a map. And that's where our sponsor, Rocket Money, comes in. A sponsor, when approached, I was so excited to work with because I kid you not, just last month, I started using Rocket Money because I needed to sort out this financial puzzle. And honestly, it's been quite eye-opening, not just for taxes, but boy, oh boy, that whole cliche of this app is true. I discovered apps and subscriptions I have been paying for that I have not used in ages. It is like finding out you've been leaving lights on in a room that you never use. So yes, Rocket Money isn't just another app. It's like a freaking financial guardian angel. It finds and cancels those forgotten subscriptions, monitors your spending, and even battles to lower your bills. Thank God. It's as if they're personally invested in saving your hard-earned money. Like I try, I really try to be on top of my expenses. But Rocket Money, they show me blind spots. With a simple tap, I could cancel unnecessary subscriptions. They even handle the hassle of negotiating with customer services. A relief, my goodness. To put it into perspective, Rocket Money has helped over 5 million users save an average of $720 a year. That's more than just numbers. It's a peace of mind. So I invite you, my fellow rejects, in taking control of your finances. So go ahead, visit rocketmoney.com slash rejects once again that's rocketmoney.com slash rejects let's save together 
rocketmoney.com slash rejects. I really do stand by this app. Thank you for partnering with us. All right, well, that was a really, really fun trailer. Had a great time watching that one. Um, I really feel like this one's going to be a full circle experience, uh, especially for our main character, Poe. The fact that they're bringing back Tai Long and seeing that they're getting a new dragon warrior, which is an interesting plot point. He's becoming like Oolong or Shifu for that matter. He's becoming the embodiment of, you know, his masters. She's going from becoming, you know, just a student who was discovered to becoming like the full on spiritual leader. He's going to be embodying the wisdom and experience he's gained over time. You know, and so much about the Kung Fu Panda films have also been about him balancing his identity as both a like, fun loving panda and a formidable dragon warrior. But this new film looks like it's going to be incorporating those aspects a little bit more to where he might become a more balanced and wise leader and then having you know characters like Tai Long returning it seems like they're hinting at all of them returning in some aspect could allow for resolutions of past conflicts possibly through redemption arcs maybe which could in turn perhaps uh, deepen his relationship with his biological and adoptive families it just seems like overall we're going to be getting a full circle experience justifying the existence of a part four after so many years because the kung fu panda movies have always been about you know self discovery self acceptance and his journey into becoming the new spiritual leader essentially like a, the ultimate testament to his self -accept acceptance and understanding of his place in this world and by finding and training the next dragon warrior whoever that might be maybe it's aquafina i don't know poe completes his journey by becoming that mentor figure akin to shifu passing on that knowledge and embodying the cycle of student becoming the master and then you know that whole thing with like influencing future generations just as, as he was influenced by his predecessors so essentially showcasing his evolution from like an enthusiastic dreamer to a wise leader and you're know, fulfilling that prophetic role he was unwittingly destined for since the first movie i mean it's jack black he hasn't lost his touch with you know voice work he was just bowser and practically stole the show whenever he was voicing Bowser in the Super Mario Brothers movie. I'm very curious about everything they're going to do. This villain chameleon uh, seems formidable and a shape-shifting type of villain adds something fresh to the franchise, I feel. And it's Viola Davis, who is a phenomenal actor as well. And she can be really scary in live action. So, you know, just bringing that presence exuding through the voice work, I can only imagine she'll still bring that intimidation factor. I felt like, ah, oh, God, what is the name? Oh, my God. The villain, the second villain was my favorite. Like, every, a lot of people prefer Tai Long, but my favorite villain was the second one. What is that guy's name? The Bert? Um, anyway, I'm forgetting it right now. Shen? Is it Shen? Let me just look it up. It is Shen. Okay, all right. <laughs> you thought I couldn't pull it, but I didn't. And then, you know, the interaction between uh, Aquafina's character, Zen, it looks like it'll be a really fun one with comedic and action-packed sensibilities like one would expect. And I think Aquafina is a, a, a wonderful voice addition talent. Just like Kihu Kwan is, a, is another great exceptional talent to provide to the Kung Fu Panda legacy as well. Tai Lung, I feel like they might be setting up for a redemption arc of sorts. I feel like it might just be too repetitive if they just brought him back to be villainous yet again and if you're going to bring back your your first movie's villain i think you gotta you know make it a little bit exciting by doing something creatively different as opposed to just you know cameo excitement but you know it's the kung fu panda franchise and uh, all the uh, like the third one i really really liked a lot it is my least favorite of the three but i really like the movie a lot the first two i absolutely love and I trust in this creative team very much so. This franchise has a really strong legacy. The fourth one has a, a lot to live up to. I love the fact that they got Hans Zimmer back to do the score yet again. There's a lot I'm really looking forward to this. Overall, uh, yeah, I'm excited for the film, man. What do you guys think about the trailer? Leave your thoughts down below. Probably going to react to it right here on this channel. Yeah, let me let me get to putting this video together for you all. Thank you again for being here, and we'll talk with you all soon, Reject Nation.